Vanessa, I think of the day that you called to tell me you were getting married. I could, uh, I could see the smile on your face through the phone. And I knew that you were so excited, so happy. The day that you both came over to, to talk with me at the rectory at, at, at the parish in Loudonville, you know, I, I could just see the love, the peace in your eyes, both of you, you know, and the joy that you both share, and how special that is. Happy for both of you, of course. I used to think that Jerry was very organized, calm, even keeled. Then I met Vanessa. <laughs> um, as some of you have heard, uh, the, the first time we officially met Vanessa at a, as a family, we were celebrating our parents' 40th uh, wedding anniversary, which was, of course, fitting. But in a way, Vanessa, I, in a way you could say, I kind of felt as though that I'd met you before just because I, to describe you as you're exactly what Jerry was looking for. Jerry, take you, Vanessa, to my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. I, Vanessa, take you, Jerry, for my lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. And as I said, it was my great privilege to, uh, to be invited to, uh, to witness this great occasion, and that continues to be the case. Now I have the great privilege of being the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Tiberio. Daughters, and I thought if I had a loser, I would really be upset. <laughs> <laughs> 